ever heard of autopilot in the Cessna 152? Stay tuned! It's a beautiful day to fly over here at upstate New York. We're at Kilo Mike Golf Juliet, Orange County Airport, holding short at runway 26 for flight sim training. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to maintain straight and level flight by using autopilot in the Cessna 152. Well, it's not really autopilot. As a matter of fact, we call it the poor man's autopilot. What I'm talking about is the trims. Trim tabs are secondary flight control surfaces in your elevator which are used to adjust aerodynamic forces to maintain attitude without any control input. What this means is that it allows you to fly your plane straight without even having to touch your yoke. Hands free, so to speak. Kinda like autopilot. Now normally we fly our airplane up and down by pulling or pushing the yoke, right? But doing so may present problems such as over-controlling or pilot-induced oscillations, especially if you just want to fly it straight and level. For this reason, they added trims at the tips of the elevators. What it does is it holds your aircraft's pitch by pointing up or down. Now you can adjust the trims by turning this wheel, this trim wheel. Turning it up will make the trim go up and your nose to point down. Turning it down will make the trim go down and your nose to point up, plain and simple. Now, unlike your elevator, which goes back to neutral once you let go of the yoke, the trims will lock into place, therefore also locking your aircraft's pitch. As a result, you no longer have to keep applying pressure or back pressure on your yoke, so your hands can go do something else. I'll show you how it works when you get up there. Tower Marty 4429 are holding short runway 26, request takeoff clearance. 4429 are cleared for runway 26, wind 270, 3 knots. Clear for takeoff runway 26, Marty 4429er. Right now we are climbing at a rate of 500 feet per minute. I haven't set the trims just yet, so in order for me to keep climbing, what I'm doing now is I'm constantly pulling on the yoke just so my aircraft will keep on climbing. If I let go of the yoke, see, the aircraft will want to dip, will want to go down. Now let's recover a bit. So I'm gonna have to keep pulling the yoke just so I can continue climbing. But doing this can be very exhausting. What I want to do is let the aircraft climb all by itself. How do I do that? I'm going to have to use the trims. That's right. First, I'm going to turn the trim wheel downwards so that the trims will force the aircraft to pitch upwards. At the same time, I am slowly, bit by bit, relieving pressure from the yoke. Now, as I turn the trim wheel some more, and then a little more, I am less and less pulling on the yoke at the same time, until I don't even need to pull the yoke anymore. The trims have fully taken over. That's how the trims work. That's what we call the poor man's autopilot in the Cessna 152. As you can see right now, we are climbing steadily at four, 500 feet per minute without my hands even touching the yoke. Now I can use my hands on other things like the radio, checklists, or taking selfies, whatever. Now we are flying straight and level at 5,200 feet, bar set at 2,200 RPMs, and airspeed is looking good at about 85 knots. We are neither climbing or descending, and I'm not even touching the controls. Now I'm gonna show you something. Suppose I wanna go faster. In order to do that, I'm gonna add power to say 2400 RPMs. Now normally, you would expect that with an increase in throttle, I would also increase my speed, which is correct. For a while, I'm actually going faster, but what is really happening here is that my aircraft wants to go up. As a matter of fact, 
My aircraft is even starting to slow down. Why am I slowing down? I've just increased power. This is counterintuitive because you might think that adding power increases speed just like in your car when you step on the gas you go faster. While it does increase speed, in an aircraft, speed also gives lift to your wings and therefore your aircraft will naturally climb when you go faster. And climbing means the aircraft will eventually lose speed because it's going uphill so to speak. And because it's losing speed, it loses lift and therefore it goes back down. This is why I'm going up and down here as you can see, and I'm not even touching the controls. This is called oscillation, and we can correct this by simply flying by trims. Let me show you. If you want to go faster, simply adjust the trims downwards so that it will lock the pitch of your aircraft. Keep it level. Stop its nose from pitching up as you go faster. Now I'll increase my power to about 2400 RPMs, and while doing so, I'm also using the trims to hold the aircraft down. Now as we're slowly accelerating, I'm beginning to feel that the aircraft wants to go up, but I'm holding it down more and more with the trim as we go faster and faster, right? 95 knots. Okay. All right, 100 knots. And that's about as fast as we can get. Right now, the aircraft really wants to pitch up because we are quite fast right now but because of the trim i managed to keep it level so even though we're flying faster we are still able to stay on the same altitude to put this into perspective if we take away power right now what do you think the airplane must do to maintain altitude pitch up that's right let me show you what it looks like again check it out if we decrease power the airplane will naturally descend now, in order for us to maintain our altitude, we have to trim our aircraft's pitch up, just so we can stay up and not go down, right? So, when we enter a slow flight, we'll be flying at a higher pitch attitude. We can keep that higher pitch attitude by using the trims, that's right. Now, look what happens if we add the power back in. Now, in order for us to maintain our altitude, we have to trim our aircraft's pitch down because if we don't pitch down we will climb and we don't want to climb to maintain that lower pitch attitude we have to use the trims perfect that's all there is to it this is how we hand fly a plane throughout most of the flight we don't really use the yoke a lot just to maintain pitch it's all about flying by trim you have to remember power pitch and trim it's all about power pitch and trim Less power, more pitch. More power, less pitch. Pitch and power. Use your trims to keep your pitch in check as you add or pull back power. Simple, right? Trims is your friend. If you master the technique, you can fly tirelessly for several hours without having to manhandle your airplane all the way to your destination. Now I'm open for suggestions for a topic on the next video. For any requests and or questions, you may put them down in the comments below. This has been Marty and I'll be seeing you on the next video.